Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. Oh, <laughs> I guess we're playing Tainted Isaac. Whoops. Um, <laughs> whoopsie. I accidentally pressed enter one too many times. First time I've done that in a long while. But yep, we're playing Tainted Isaac now. It's locked in, baby. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I'm happy to be playing some Isaac once again. I, I say that like I don't literally play it every single day of my entire life. But... The, the magic hasn't died for me yet, and I honestly, I'd say that even without modding, I'd still probably say the same. Repentance just gave me so much more life to this game, and yeah, I've just been enjoying it. I did add a new mod, or kind of added a new mod. Someone brought out a mod called something like uh, Extra Chest Rewards or something like that, which essentially... It made uh, brown chests have a 5% chance to be uh, changed into wooden chests, and golden chests have a 5% chance to be changed to old chests. Ha made red chests have a chance to drop the cracked keys, and an increased chance to drop the red key, and gave um, ghost chests... Ooh, hello. Um, hope we get a key for that. Uh, gave ghost chests the chance to... Well, actually, it's, it can drop from a half heart to two soul hearts uh, when you open them, along with their normal loot. Or an item from a specific custom made pool. And I really like the idea of that last bit. So I took the mod, deleted all the rest of the stuff. Because I wasn't really a fan of that in terms of balance. And just kept the um, the haunted chest stuff. So now haunted chests are going to drop soul hearts from now on. Uh, like a, a soul heart or two every now and again. Um, and on top of that, we are going to have a chance to get ghostly items from them. But, terror. Oh, uh, I was really confused for a moment then. I was like, what the hell just happened? And then I remembered that's what Isaac does. Um, but it seems as if we got something cool. Gives the player extra damage. Tears hit an enemy have a chance to cause the player uh, to produce a special green creep. Enemies that walk over special green creep will be slowed and a tentacle will attack them. Enemies um, will be slowed down while being attacked by the tentacle. Okay, do you know what? Terror was, Terror was an interesting one. But we got something new. So, there. <laughs> we got something new. So, I'm kind of intrigued by this. Uh, I don't know how much damage this, this creep is going to do. But I do want to... Whoa. <laughs> oh, whoa. Okay, that's... um. Oh, and it's that tentacle. I see. Okay. This is pretty spicy. I, I have to say, I'd probably be more of a fan of Terra, but that's still pretty good. D1's, of course, pretty ace here for us. I'll definitely say that. Um, I do kind of want some health here. Because I did get hit. But, yeah. Oh. Ha, ha, ha. You see? You see? It pays off. It pays off. Yeah. Terra probably would have been a little bit better for us, but this is new and I like new things. This is a kind of trolley room. I like it. I gotta say. Ooh. Open a secret room for free. Gotta love that. You want my D1, do you? You cannot have it. My D1 is special to me. So, I don't know how large the chance for this green creep is, but we seem to produce it for a good amount of time. And it seems to do a good amount of damage. And it doesn't only... It doesn't only affect the enemy that I hit with the green tier, which seems to be a really good part of it, too. I thought it would, but... It seems the green creep can hurt any enemy that touches it, so... Seems like some good stuff right now. Seems like some good stuff. Right, remember that mechanic exists, please. Remember it exists. Right, down we go. Did we have a goal in mind? No, we didn't, because we didn't randomize this character. We're gonna go to wherever. Um, we'll see, we'll see. Arcade off the bat here. It's this arcade. Yeah, a um, little bit of a mistake there with the with the old Tainted Isaac business, but that's how it goes sometimes, doesn't it? Okay, thank God they didn't all spray tears down on me when they died. That would have been horrible. Might take damage here. Oh, oh, oh no. I've dipped, dived, ducked, dodged, and dodged. I realize I said that completely wrong, but there you go. Um, and we'll pop in here. That's some dookie right there. That's some dookie. Um, three. Two. One. Hey, Plumber's Cap is actually pretty good. Um, essentially, now we have the chance to get uh, alternate Fool's Gold Rocks in, in certain rooms, which is, it turns out to be pretty good. Okay, this guy's going to be a pain in our little bumhole. Um, 
I don't know if you'll end up actually picking this up, but I kind of want to find out. Uh, I would like to maybe um, kill at least one of them first, though, because we are in a situation where if I take any damage whatsoever, I'm not going to feel so good. I do. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna try it out. Let's let's blow up these barrels to make sure he doesn't go for those. But I am gonna see what happens if he grabs this rock because. If you see, it's actually just a an overlay on top of the rock rather than a new rock itself. That's how they do it. Uh, so I don't know if you'll just pick up the rock from underneath and leave the uh, leave the thingy, but this this might take a little while. But I feel like it's an experiment that's worth my time. No, not there, dude. Stop being such an asshole. Okay, come on. We got one more rock in the center. There you go. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Ah, I knew it. I knew it. it it's because it's technically an overlay. It didn't actually, uh... It didn't actually work properly. I knew that was going to be the case. Okay, so this green creep is pretty good. I'm liking the fact that we get the tentacle as well. The tentacle's nice. It's kind of a weird, um... Oh! You cheeky bastard! <laughs> Not only, not only does it not work if he picks it up, but I can't even actually blow up the overlay itself. That's some cheeky stuff right there. Some cheeky stuff right there. Yeah, I completely forgot how Tainted Isaac worked for uh, for a bit at the start of this room, but we're getting there. We just got to keep it in mind. Ooh, this is not a room I like to see. Ooh, especially when that happens. Oh god, that is a bit gross. We kind of want to be killing all of the flies around him before we kill him. It's going to make our life a whole hell of a lot easier. We've actually managed to do pretty much precisely that. Apart from one. But he was only one hit. And we got a golden petrified poop. Hell yes. Golden petrified poop is good with me. Let's hope we get Dross next floor and get some, uh, get some turds hanging around. Love me some turds. Yeah, on a 60% chance to drop as well. That's really good. Ayo. Right, I don't know if we'll end up getting Devil Deal here. I don't even know if I want to go to the Devil Deal here. I'm, I'm undecided right now, I have to say. We should probably check our shop as well, actually. Do you know what? Let's go... No, let's do this first. Let's do this first. We're already here. We're already here. Rainmaker, you can be a bit of a bastard. I want to try and keep my bombs. Do you know what? Terror would have been so good because we'd be able to destroy the money rocks super easily. It's actually kind of a shame. Okay, we lost our devil deal. Oh, I would have lost it there anyways. I always forget he does that attack. Okay, so the tentacle's active basically all the time. Intriguing. It's a very interesting item. Synth oil. Um... I think Cat of Nine Tails is better. Actually, to be fair, Synthoil is probably better because it gives you the chance for a transformation. But I, I'm pretty happy with that. We need to go back and get this health here. Um, but I also want to check out our shop as well. Ooh, there's poops in here. Not really anything I'm super interested in right there. I wouldn't say. Right. Let's just be on our way then, shall we? Uh, we do have an extra heart, so let's go to our cash room. I'm taking quite a bit of time here, but I don't know. This run just feels like a run where I've got to do my due diligence. I've got to take my time. Do what I need to do. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Unfortunately, a very bad uh, secret room there. Okay. Grab that. Secret room, secret room. Oh, where might you be? It could, uh, it could be up from here. Let's try that out. There you go. Hey, that's what I like to see. Ooh, and we actually got a, a red rock as well. Get ourselves a red rune. Red rune is this character's pretty good. We're going to be leaving a lot of items behind. Um, I don't think we want to spend any of our money on the current shop items just because we're not going to be uh, keeping any of those. Um, I think we'll just get the hell out of here. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of items we end up leaving on the ground just because of the nature of this character, so... Let's, um... Let's try and utilize that nicely. Ooh, here's some poopies. Love it. That's a, do you know what? Fair play to you, my dude. I, I did not see that happening, but you did it. You managed it. That's another nickel. 
Beautiful. God damn. So, devil deal prospects are not great. Living prospects, also not great. Been taking quite a bit of unnecessary damage right here. Quite, quite the little bit. Okay, so we know that we can't leave these guys to steal, um... To steal the thingy rocks, because it just doesn't work for us the way that I thought it would. Okay, I think this is the same room as last time. Just be careful. This guy's got a leech in his head. Be aware of that. Leech for brains. Ooh, I'm actually going to, um... Do you know what? I was just about to say, I'm going to take these keys, but do you know what? I'm not. I was going to D1 the keys, but I've actually got a bit of a better idea. Dog Tooth is pretty good. Um, PhD is also pretty good. I think I'm going to take Dog Tooth, though. I think Dog Tooth is a bit better for us. Steam Sale is also pretty good, at least for now. So we'll buy that up. Buy that, buy that. Let me just try something here. If I D1 this, that's what I'm looking for. I don't know if it'll always produce soul stones, but pretty good that it produced that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty good. Wait, is that a dime? Is that a reflected dime? Oh hell yes. <laughs> um I'm guessing this means that this is here, right? What? Um Can I actually get these in any way? I think I need flight to get over there, don't I? Seems like it. That's a bit of a shame. I guess we'll come back to that. Oh, we've also got other secret room here. That's a lot of money. <laughs> we get a one-up if we get to 99 cent as well. Which means we get a, a, a heart. It does consume all the money though. So that's a little bit of a bummer. Okay. Oh, he almost got me. God damn, these guys are everywhere right now. They love the buckets, don't they? Oh my god, it's because it's because the buckets can have enemies in them, that's why. Damn, I, I so wish I had Terra right now. The other item's good. I'm I'm actually I'm actually glad that we have the other one just because it's something new and different. But goddamn Terra would have been so nice. I already lost my angel deal chance, or at least the majority of it, so I'm not that bothered, but I'd rather not take more damage if I can help it. Oh my god, you're evil. Okay. Right. It does indeed keep producing soul stones. Good to know. Um, I'm just trying to find a way w in which we can maybe get all of those bone hearts. Because I really want them. There's so many of them. I don't think there's a way, I'll be honest. I really want them. I guess I'll bring this in here and just use it for the fight. I've never actually... Oh, there you go. I've never actually used this dude for a fight before. We got Jacob's Ladder on him, which is particularly quite good. Just remember, if he dies, it doesn't actually matter. It doesn't go against us at all, really. Oh, we got hit, though. Okay. Um, we shall pick up this. No, wrong one, you absolute fucker. God damn it. Oh, and that game crashed. Okay. This is why Solo Jacob and Ezo is like the worst thing to ever exist. 
Right, we are back. I played all the way back up to this bit. I didn't get a soul of ki um, a soul of keeper again, but I did get a soul of Eden. So we're gonna try this out and see what we end up getting. Uh, we got coffee, which I guess is something. But yeah, I played through the floor again. Still no angel deal, unfortunately. Um, I also left my red rune somewhere. I think it's where that card is on the minimap. Yeah, so unfortunately that kind of just went the way it went. Um, and we got a uh, Soul of the Lost, which I think is worth less right now. Oh, wait. Ooh, 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 ooh. Is it worth less? Actually, because that's flight. Can we get a bomb? We can. Okay. One moment. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, so this 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 crash actually uh, worked out in our favor. Because now we get um, all of this. Oh, one of them is a glitched heart, which is intriguing. But this is uh, a lot more health than we had prior, so I'll uh, I'll accept that. I'll take that in strides. <laughs> um, <laughs> like I was gonna say, maybe a bit cheaty, but not really, considering I couldn't have I couldn't have changed the crash out uh, like how the crash went, and on top of that, I couldn't have manipulated the RNG of what we we're gonna get. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's just go down to the next floor and yeah, hope for the best. Hope we can get um, a good amount of red hearts to fill these burn hearts. At least this gives us a uh, deal with the devil protection because we're still at 100%. And I've been not doing so great. Honestly, the items we've got right now aren't great, I've got to say. We've not got the best items ever, but they're not terrible. Oh, these enemies fit really well together. Really, really well together. Surprisingly, the default game doesn't have these guys in rooms together at all. It fits so well, just thematically. But yeah, like, at the minute, I'm probably going to keep my, um... Oh, God, this kind of hard room. Uh, I'm probably going to keep my Cat and Nine Tails for a while. Keep my, um, Steam Sale for a little bit. Probably keep the Planetarium item that I've got, because that's pretty good. Ooh, this is a good room for flight as well. Oh, my Lord. That room got me kind of scared there. Oh, that... That was actually a good hit. I'll give you that one. I lost a Burn Heart to that, but... It was pretty styling, so... Really, I'm missing all the shots on this dude. Come on! Oh my god! <laughs> Those little spider dudes. Okay, and... Dog's Tooth is actually another one that I might keep. Telling us what's what. But yeah, drop in, drop in this red rune, just keeping it on us to, um... Produce soul stones. Pretty good. <laughs> Obviously, we're not always going to get the best of soul stones, but I actually think that um, keeping it in our inventory and never using it is a good idea. <laughs> um, I'll just buy the soul heart here. Don't need much else from there. Um, yeah, I think it, just keeping it on us permanently is a good idea. Ah, oh, lovely. Lovely. Also, we've got the coffee as well, which is uh, nice for that little movement speed damage bonus thing you get. We can go all the way up to 7.81 damage at full movement speed, which isn't a ton, but it's better than nothing. Damage we wouldn't have had otherwise. I don't often shoot while moving, like, as in, like, at full speed, but whenever I do, it's going to be a nice little bonus. And even then, it, it's still active, even if you're not moving at full speed. It's just less of a bonus. Good. So we just got to make sure that we pick up whatever else is in the room. So like in this room, we can do it here. But I'm pretty sure it works on trinkets. So always pick up our trinket. And then pop it. There you go. This is actually a really, really cool little, uh, little interaction we found here. And this is all thanks to the D1 nerf. The fact that the D1 got nerfed and made it so you can't produce copies of the same thing multiple times. Has actually led to this situation in which we're able to get multiple different soul stones pretty easily out of a red rune that we're we, we were gonna use but we don't need to use so i think it's put us in a very good position i'm hoping we get another soul of the lost so we can uh, get over there and get all that stuff hey beautiful I'm not gonna take pills for now i don't really need them but yeah this this build's coming together obviously the, the biggest part is we're now like really set on hp as well Okay, so D-pad is pretty fantastic, but Shamrock has proven to be extremely useful in the past 
just because the amount of luck pennies it provides. So I'm going to keep that. Okay. Drop it again. I'm liking this tactic. These are these are the fun runs where you get some really like cool cool stuff. I realize we could just bring that along and use it for the boss, but I'd rather just um go with it and not have to come back for the red rune. I know it's a bit lazy, but it's not gonna save us that much time to use the uh, soul of Azazel on the boss. We've actually got a pretty good build that I reckon will kill whatever boss this is is pretty fast. Although this does look like it could be a double a double trouble boss. Or, no, it is a double trouble boss, okay, but it's, it is Pin, though, so. Oh, God, Pin just got destroyed. Yeah, see, look, we got three luck out of it already. Um, As for items we're willing to lose right now, I actually think that this is probably the most likely one to go, because we're just not having much ability to use it. Obviously, we could red rune it. Do you know what? Let's red rune it. Oh, I was really hoping we'd get a custom one there. And then let's go and pick up another soul stone. I'm hoping it works with the other soul stones. If the other soul stones just start producing crap, I'm going to be a bit sad. But yeah, I thought uh, all the Ipecac ones had unique uh, unique locusts, but apparently not all of them do. That's fine. But yeah, the Shamrock is like, in my opinion, quite S tier, considering it's a quality 2. It's very good. We also did get a Devil Deal finally. Um, see what we've got going on here. This one's the one that gives us the four familiars. Um, probably swap that for our coffee, because I think that's pretty good. This gives us all four of the familiars permanently. And then sin robes? Sin robes is pretty good, but I don't know what we'd trade it for. Our tiers aren't that great. Maybe Steam Sale. We've got a lot of money right now. Yeah, let's do that. Let's talk. Steam Sale's really good, but we've got a lot of money right now. Let's just take that as it is. Yeah, having all four of these the entire time is going to be pretty good. They're, they're pretty strong. It does make the screen a little, a little messy, but should mean some good money drops and all that sort of good stuff. Good damage. We, don't, we got a crane game here, interestingly enough. Yeah, get us some money already. Okay, the creep should hopefully handle these guys reasonably well. I don't know what's going on with all these little uh, these little feather things that are hanging around. Get some more money. Very nice, very nice. Okay. I'm just going to buy this and see what it is. Okay, 4.5 volt. 4.5 volt could be very, very good. Yeah, I think 4.5 volt is probably the way to go. Hmm. I'm just thinking, is it really the... I think it is. Right, let me get back to a room in which I can uh, duplicate this safely. This secret room's annoying me. I'm just going to blow it up. It just keeps howling at me. Some more bombs there, that's good. I could play this crane game out and see what we end up getting. Might not be a terrible idea. Uh, but for now, let's just drop this. That one just produced another solar blue baby. I don't think that's what's meant to happen, but. We did get an item. Unfortunately, it's trash. Unfortunately, it's trash. That's a bit of a shame. Right. Keep going. God damn, these, these dudes. These dudes are. Uh, some muscly boys. Necro. Ooh, the Fallen. Nice. I realize I'm going to take some damage here, but I don't really care. 
Didn't really work in my favor, actually. That actually kind of went really badly. Torn Wings. Uh, Torn Wings is like, we get bonuses for flight, but we don't... It doesn't matter for us. Yeah, um, Devil Deal De items can appear in any item pool. Tears up for each item that grants flight prevents you from... Oh, uh, but yeah, Devil Deal items can appear in any item pool seems pretty heckin' good. Maybe we'll swap that for the Shamrock. Like, we got, a, we, we got luck out of it, and we get that permanently, so... Although, maybe... I don't know, the Dogtooth, maybe? Yeah, Dogtooth's probably better. The Shamrock's actually really good. Don't plant a bomb on yourself, that's dumb. This is a hard choice to make. Hopefully we get Birthright and just hold more items soon. But yeah, not being able to fly for the abilities for Devil Deal items to appear in any pool is kind of interesting. I do wonder if they'll cost health in whatever pools they show up in, though. I am curious. Gotta be careful. I'm still debating if 4.5 volt is really worth it. It kind of doesn't feel like it is. But at the same time, it can be really good. So that's kind of swaying me. Seriously, drop all that money in a place I can't get it. Thank you. Oh god, this is a gross room. See you up there, heart. See it. Yeah, I maybe think that 4.5 volt isn't really isn't really worth it. Got an eternal heart there at somewhere. Cause like that room we would have got a charge for, and that th that time we didn't. Same with that one, yeah. Bum friend, easy choice to make. Goodbye. Yeah, I'm, I'm maybe thinking let's get rid of 4.5 volt. I thought it was going to be really good. But it's not really proving to be, is it? Endless Nameless. Endless Nameless, I think, is going to be better for us now. Perthro. Perthro can at least go and reroll this by for us. Mega Beam. Great. Right. Okay. Keep it going. Do not like that. Do not like that. Oh god. That guy was a champion. I didn't realize for a little while there. Um, Nothing in this room here. Grab this. Do that. Soul of Apollyon. And we got another Soul of Apollyon. The double Soul of Apollyon. That's pretty good. That's why Endless Nameless is great. Endless Nameless is brilliant. Thank you for dealing with that dude for me. Oh god. Ooh, 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 ooh. Very spicy room with low speed. another pill. Okay. Yeah, let's go get rid of 4.5 volt and be on our way. We're going to trade it back for um, probably Dogtooth. I'm trying to think of the items that we've left behind on this floor so far. We had a few that we've left behind. One of them was in the shop, right? Whatever I traded 4.5 volt for. That's um, that's best friend. We don't really care about that. What was it in here? The screw. Actually, no, we'll take the screw instead. Sorry, 4.5 volt, you are good, but I just don't think you're right for this build. I thought you were going to be. I thought you were going to be our hero, but you're just not quite not quite with it. And we shall zoom to the next floor. This means we can get a few more charges, hopefully. Might mean that 4.5 volt's better later on, but for, for this build right now, I think it's not really the best. Especially on double rooms like this, where we would be getting guaranteed two charges. Goddamn, so many explosive locusts. Kind of beautiful. It's kind of beautiful if you think about it. Oh, God. Gross room. Very gross room. Okay, good. 
There you go. And then we can drop this again. Grab that. Soul of Maggie isn't really the greatest. Ooh, what the hell's this? Nerve Pinch. Shooting uh, or moving for eight seconds will trigger a Nerve Pinch. You take fake damage and gain a permanent uh, speed down when that happens. However, there is a 75% chance to activate your active item for free, even if it's uncharged. Uh, One-time use and infinite use actives cannot be used that way. It seems risky, but I kind of like the idea of it. If it can happen outside of combat, that's not going to be great. God damn. Ooh, I'm getting hit a lot right now. Justice. Nice. And it's a glitched heart too. For a double heart. We got a mega chest in here. That's kind of interesting. Ooh, we did get Beth right. Okay, we need to buy that. Um... Yes, that gives us a whole heap more space. Um, I guess we take this. And then I guess we can take this for the plus five bombs. Right, let's go back and pick up the screw real fast. Yeah, I can't believe I would just, I was like, ooh, it'd be great if we got birthright. And we ended up getting birthright. That's worked out pretty nice. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yep, I'm, I'm gonna get hit in that room every time we go through it, unfortunately. That is just our curse. Yeah, now we've got a lot more a lot more room to, like, trade stuff out now. I don't know how, how Nerve Pinch is really gonna play into having the D1, but it could be interesting. Oh my lord. Please don't lose a burn heart here. That would be a travesty. Okay. Drop our soul again. That's a bit better. Um, we'll leave that there and see what we want to do with it. Small rock or raven's beak? Raven's Beak's potentially an interesting one. Let's see what that does. Um, consumes all pickups in the room. Grants a small but permanent damage up for each pickup consumed. Uh, the amount of damage gained is based on the quality of the pickups. Let me just do something here. Grab that. I just want to see how much damage I get from this. Okay, that's... It's... it's That's a very interesting item, but that's a very insignificant amount of damage. I don't think we really need to go for that. Keep going this way. Oh, these enemies scare the hell out of me. Hoping the item room's this way, to be honest, but I was unlucky. Oh my god. Ooh, filigree. It's kind of hard for us to make filigree feather work, though, is the only problem. But that's potentially a good idea. There you go, another one we can use. Ah, Endless Nameless didn't trigger this time. I didn't get anything from that. I was hoping maybe we'd get a bit a bit extra out of that. But yeah, we're really just hoping, like, if we get, like, a Soul of Lilith and get, like, three endless nameless triggers, that'd be just so awesome. <laughs> oh, we're gonna lose a burn heart here, aren't we? Yeah. Really hoping to fill it up with these two hearts here. I didn't think about that room. My mistake. For thinking I could pass a room without taking damage. Hey, another black heart. 
half a black heart and plus point one damage up is pretty good. Yeah, I lowered those to only give you half a black heart now. Thought that was a bit more fair than them giving a full black heart and damage. Now they give a half black heart and some damage. Right, okay. Boss time. Try and flawless this boss and then we'll get an extra reward, remember? And I know that this boss isn't the easiest to flawless. Especially not with the numerous amounts of shit we have on our screen. Also, Nerve Pinch doesn't seem to have triggered yet, even though I am continuously holding down the fire keys. I'm not exactly sure why that is. One's foot's glitching out a little bit. Quite a lot, actually. Okay, we got the uh, the flawless. There's our luck upgrades. Good. We also got a chest out of it, too, which is surprising. Uh, and I'll take the Polaroid, I think. Right. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of Skadoodle. Skidaddle, skadoodle. Yeah, this, this this like group of familiars is so strong. They're doing such a good job. Lump, you need to go though. You need to go. Right. We go again. Come on, give us a good rune. Give us a good rune. That's not a good rune. That's a terrible rune that will crash our game. God damn, my wisps just saved the hell out of me there. This dude's so tiny for a boss. Oh my god, he just got wrecked, 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 pushed right into the wall. This guy's dropping his little thing everywhere. Oh, was there a door in the here? I swear there was a door there before. Quite plausible that's the case. Maybe I just didn't notice to start with. Oh, these are four-way brimstoners. Shit. Oh, it's so hard to tell. But yeah, we've got an interesting build here going on, I think. Something quite intriguing. I'm, I'm really hoping that that Torn Feather does pay out at some point. I've kind of given it a spot on our team for no other reason than the potential of it working out later. Right. Drop, drop, drop. Soul of the Forgotten. I am going to carry that. Just in case we find a um, thingy room, sack room. Soul of the Forgotten is essentially free sack room. At least to six players. This guy's going around smacking everyone. Oh, whoa. That was strange. <laughs> he just goes up to him, steals their money, and buggers off. You beautiful bastard. That's all the brimstones. I know you're trying your best, fellas, but don't knock the enemy directly into me. Come on now. Another play on our duplication methods. Although I can't do it in this room, gotta do it in this room. Soul of Eden, even better. We roll into any single pool. It probably shouldn't have switched the path I was going down, to be honest. My mistake. I didn't even realize I had done, to be honest. Wow, this guy's not dying. That guy was strong. Okay, this is a bit confusing here. We do still have Dog's Tooth, right? No, we don't. But why did we leave Dog's Tooth behind? Where was that? I don't know where we left that. It gone now. It is gone now. Okay. We're clearing rooms pretty quick. I still think our stats are a little sort of on the rocky side. They're not the best. But we're doing decently. We can do another duplication here. There's that solar Lilith. Yes. This one, this doesn't count towards our item set either. Hey, we, we got Worm Friend. I was saying earlier about what, how funny would it be if we got Worm Friend with this item so we have double the worms. And now we do. 
Right. Try and floor the boss, remember. Oh, this is like double bumber, maybe? Oh god, this is kind of a kind of a tough a tough sell here. You little motherfucker. He, that was a perfectly placed swing there. I'll give it to you. That was pretty good, but like, I'm a bit disappointed. Should have been a flawless right there. Okay. There's some good stuff there. Um, this is a bit saucy. <laughs> Damocles 2. I don't even know if this will work. Oh, I didn't even get the second Damocles. I'm an idiot. I'm going really hard on this for no reason. I went way too hard on that, but there you go. Oh, I should have sold Eden to those. I'm an idiot. Right, uh, we definitely need PJs, otherwise we will die. Okay, and I think we sort of eaten all of these and see what we get. So, I think Super Bandage is another good idea. I tried to double Damocles, it didn't work. Uh, Euthanasia is probably a good idea as well. I'm going to take it over Nerve Pinch. That hasn't, that hasn't done anything for us so far. Okay, that was risky, but I, it, it pulled off. I'm kind of sad that I didn't manage to get double Damocles. That would have been kind of hilarious. Uh, we also need to go back and quickly grab ourselves another rune before we leave. This has been a bit saucy. Right, it's just here. Thank you. And yes, now we have Damocles waving over us, watching our every move. Right, foreboding. Oh, let's get gone. I can't believe the recovery there. I went so hard on that devil deal, and I came out of it kind of smelling like roses, to be honest. My health is looking just fine. Just remember, Damocles has the chance to activate after we first get hit. So the longer we can go without getting hit, the better that's going to be for us. A hey, soul of Isaac, I will take that. Okay, the creep here is doing a good job. We're going to get a lot of our luck-based effects here, just because we have a good amount of luck. Sad we didn't manage to get that flawless there. Ooh, I do not like this, but I think this is the right way, so I'm going to hedge my bets and just uh, skip on through that room. Oh, I don't know what I got hit by there, but that has, uh, that has truly put us in a bad spot. Yeah, I'm not doing that room. That room seems horrible. Head out. Go back to small map. Small map, no timer. I can never... Mm. Damn it. Why can't I do this? Whatever. I want to go small map, no timer, but I don't know how. It is bizarre to me. Right, keeping an eye on the map, making sure we're going the right way. We are. Euthanasia's doing a good job. I'm a little sad that Damocles could now fall on us and ruin our run, but... Oh my god, I'm taking some bad damage. I'm taking some bad, bad damage. Right. Drop it off again. Ah, oh, stop giving me the soul of Jacob and Ezo. It's a crash, crash-worthy piece of shit. Oh, what? 
What has happened to me? I have to say, my little group of familiars are great, but I cannot see anything. They are just so in the way. They're so huge. I just walked into a spiked rock because I didn't even see it. You do you. Oh my god. The farty laser. They keep doing that weird thing where they puff a smoke as well. It's very distracting. I'm not a fan. Oh my god. I'm taking some bad hits right now. First I thought it was going to be Damocles that killed me. Turns out I'm going to be the thing that kills me because I just can't not get hit. Oh my lord. I am getting hit a lot. A lot and a lot. I think we should take nine lives. That hit me too? Are you kidding? Is the hand gone? What the hell's happening to this hand? This is so very confusing. I'm going to get rid of the shamrock now. I literally can't kill this hand. It keeps getting zoomed into the future. I, I'm softlocked. This hand is like... It, it can't possibly hit me now. What the hell's going on? Maybe I've got to like stand all the way up here. Yeah, I just, I can't hit it. I did get another soul of Isaac, which is nice. It means we can get, I'm just going to not pay attention for now. You, you do you hand. Uh, let's take the empty vessel. It's free. Yeah, this is kind of this is kind of balked, isn't it? I don't even know what to do about this. Um, I'm gonna make a, a strange play here. I'm gonna go and do that so that I can wait until this thing falls and then kill it. And then I'm gonna soul of Isaac again. I know that I'm going to lose all my money if this goes wrong, but I still want to try this. Because it says restores HP. It's a passive item. I don't understand. I don't really understand. Right, I think I'm going to go and grab... There's so many items changing right now. Grab that. I realized that I got rid of Empty Vessel to do that, but I'd be respawning with Red Hearts anyway, so it doesn't actually matter. Right. Um, that was a bit strange. I'll say that for sure. My ragtag group of guys is proving to be a little more prob problematic than I thought. We've got eight lives left. We'll see if we can stay alive, shall we? That's all we can hope. We'll just see. We shall just see if we can stay alive. God damn, Tented Isaac runs are just kind of crazy. This is a horrible room filled with nightmares. Dude, you just punched that man into me. Why? That was such a bad idea. Right, drop this. Another soul of Isaac. I like it. Ooh, haunted chest. Shows the goods. There you go. It gave us a heart this time with whatever it drops, which gave us a glitched heart, which gave us a glitched heart. Oh, it's Sig Monstro. Hello. Wow. He was he was ready and raring to go. Was not expecting that. I'm hoping I don't have to go that way with that other room because I got insta-killed and I didn't appreciate it. Oh my god. Hoping for some soul hearts soon. It's kind of what we need desperately. I'm hoping my boys, like, actually do some good for me. Boys, come on. I'm still really wanting to get rid of this timer on the screen. Why isn't there an option to just turn off the timer and the timer alone? I don't want the timer. It's so in the way. 
so precariously placed. There you go. Got rid of it. Got rid of it. Okay, this is looking more so like the right way. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Come on, give us the double solo Lilith again. Damn it. It didn't. Endless nameless, you betray me. Okay. This room will open up once this is, uh, once this fight's finished, I think. If this guy decides to spawn, there you go. There you go. Right, this is going to be a hard fight. We don't have a ton of damage. It's not going to be easy. But I shall try my best. I reckon I'll probably lose a few lives to this, but... I'm hoping not more than three. Or... None. <laughs> That actually went exceedingly well. Okay. Okay. All right. There is one that's reflected. Right. I think we actually just D1 the chests. Hope to survive at least a little bit here. We got C-section with Mum's knife, which I don't even know what that does. Does it do... Oh, it does work. Okay. And then we got... Grants one empty burn heart. Okay, we, we need we need that. It grants an empty burn heart. I'm going to get rid of my boys. The, the boys are good, but they're so distracting. This gave us an empty burn heart, so... C section is definitely making this better. With Mum's knife as well, it's even cooler. Ooh, Juno, plus one soul heart. Tears to hit enemies have the chance. Okay, I, I don't even. I didn't even get to read that, but I want it. It's plus one soul heart. That's all I care about, really. Oh, this is this one. It's the one where it has the chance to lock enemies down. Yeah, apparently with the uh, C-section, it's really broken, <laughs> which is good. Oh my god, it's 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 quite good. Oh my lord, it's quite good. As soon as it does damage to an enemy, they're, they're, they're unable to attack back. Which is definitely preferable for us. I like it. <laughs> this seems sustainable. Ooh, we got Fierce Mask as well. Um, which I will replace with my Torn Wings. Thank you. Do you know what? Let's just open the rest of these up, see what we get. Tiny Planet seems like it could be fun. I'm going to take this just because it's HP. There's not much else here that I really care about. Toxic Shock's pretty good. I'll get rid of that for Euthanasia because that's not really doing anything for us right now. And we'll just stick with this, I guess. We've just got to hope Damocles doesn't kill us now, really. Okay, this guy's kind of boxed. This is such a crazy setup. We've got very little health, so we do have to be careful about when we do get hit. I don't know why C-Section is refusing to kill these guys. Apparently these multi-segment dudes uh, don't do well when locked down. They're good. We don't really know where we're going here, we're just hoping for the best. Damn, it was hoping for Soul Hearts out of that. Ooh, I got hit again. Balls. This is actually kind of scary. It's kind of sitting on the edge here. More of my cursus. Uh, I think we'll definitely take over our tears up here. Actually, we can take it over this because it's not doing anything anymore. 
Sorry, I like you, but you're not doing anything for me anymore. Okay, this was unfortunately the wrong way. Good to know. Okay, quite a lot of enemies are quite badly broken with this mechanic. Like, their death animation just refuses to play. Gotta remember that. Especially bosses. Okay. The race against Damocles. That's a lot of stuff in this room. Oh wait, doesn't Kernhead give us a thingy on pickup? So hot. It does. Good. Did we go all of this way? Yes, we did. Damn it. I just know it's going to drop right when we hit the boss. Oh my lord. <laughs> this item's obscenely broken with C-section. I don't know if it's C-section or Mum's knife that's doing it, but one of them is really making it not work the way it's meant to. It does have a chance to attach these, uh, these chains, not guaranteed every time. I love C-section. What a great item. Absolute redemption after the C-section. It went from being kind of like, well, impossible to get and did nothing to being super cool. Wait, what? Damocles got me, you bastard. I knew it. I actually did think that Damocles went through nine lives, but apparently not. Yeah, I, I thought Damocles would, uh, would overwrite nine lives and just outright kill us. But apparently we got lucky. Oh, wait. It's got Spirit Sword 2 because of Fierce Mask. Oh, wait. This might crash. This might genuinely crash. Please die. That's a lot of chains. Right. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed that crazy one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.